Insulation can be tricky depending on where you live, depending on which jurisdiction you're at or uh, the, the weather temperatures, the general weather temperatures and where you live. Um, each state can be different. Each city can be different depending on how they adopt them. Um, but where I'm at, um, I thought I would run through uh, different uh, uh, R values of insulation depending on where they go. I'm in a new house doing an inspection. And for those of you out there doing any type of addition or remodel, uh, you obviously are going to want to check with your local building department on what the specific requirements on our value are, but I can at least give you a heads up of kind of how we do it where we're at and kind of get you down the right road. So let's start. Uh, I'm in a garage and we've got living space above. So you actually have a floor system that you have to separate the unheated garage from the heated space above. And then we obviously have the walls around it. So we'll do that and then I'll hop upstairs and kind of show you what to look for in the attic. And, uh, and then also just kind of give you a quick shot of the uh, crawl space access as well, just to give you a quick look at what to think about if you're doing insulation. So let's take a look. So I'm in a garage here and you can see right here, you can see all these 21s. So that's R21, it takes a two by six wall or five and a half inches. That is the requirement where we're at is R21. R19 also requires a five and a half inch wall. R13 or R15 would be like a two by four wall. Here is the living space above. So this is a floor system. And if I kind of walk right on over here, you can see 30 right there. So that's R30 minimum for a floor system. So if you have a crawl space or like this is a living space above a garage, you would need R30. Again, we've got R21 for exterior walls. So let's hop over to the crawl space. So without actually jumping in the hole, you can see right here, this again is R30. We have a crawl space. We got floor system right here, R30, and you can see how they've gone and they've actually sealed right here with some sealer. So when they put this crawl access back in, they're helping to seal any uh, air loss, any heat loss or cooling loss uh, within the house. So that would be your crawl space. And now let's uh, hop upstairs. Okay, so I am upstairs, same thing. These are exterior walls, so there are 21. One thing you will notice, and I'll do in another video, is there's no vapor barrier on here. What they're using is actually what they call a PVA. There are other types of vapor barrier you can use out there, but you can see that they do not have the plastic that you might see or the paper that you might see in other uh, types of applications. The other thing to think about, is attic rulers a lot of times inspectors want to see attic rulers so that you know when you blow it in how thick it needs to be to meet the requirement where i'm at we require r49 so that's right there that's 18 inches of blown in insulation to meet code requirements the other thing to look for which they've gotten away from in this particular house would be uh, soffit venting and baffles, which are the cardboard baffles. But what they've done is they've gotten rid of the soffit venting and they've gone to what they call an intake vent that's in line and it's just cut in and allows air to come in here and go up and out through the can vent in the roof, in the ridge. So this is Ben with Building Code Tips. I hope that this helps you out. I hope this gets you down the right road. Um, obviously hit the like button if it helps you out and definitely subscribe. I've got lots more videos out there to hopefully help you get through your home projects without too much heartache. And uh, by all means, you can visit uh, buildingcodetips.com for all kinds of extra information when it comes to uh, doing home projects and working through um, all the little different code things that might be out there that might give you hiccups or kind of get you scratching your head a little bit.